Hi guys, how are we doing today? Been a mile, minute since I've done any. Um, been really busy. There's gonna be an intro before this that'll explain all this. So let's do this. I just took a piece of artboard. Um, this is just your plain old. Oh crap! It's your plain old white artboard. Um, yeah, I experiment on it. It's easy to paint on. It's light. It's the only thing is it does warp a little bit, so you got to keep it pinned down. Um, I just spray painted this one black. Now we're gonna put a little planning in it. I've been wanting to do one like this, so I thought I'd bring you guys along for it real quick. So let's see what we can do with this. Let's get our machine on. Now this is how I do it. Um, I watch hundreds of these painters, and it seems like everybody only gets everybody finds their own little technique um, of doing it. And this is mine. Um, I notice a lot of people really do them differently um, than other people. There are so many different ways to airbrush, um, honestly. There is no right or wrong. It's really up to you. So, all I do is give myself a little outline there. What you can. Um, put on some white. We're going to make our planet here. It's going to be a simple planet. But I love the color of this one. It's one of my favorite ones I do. Right done. I think we'll put one down here, a star. Something simple. I'm going to keep this a little darker on this side and a little lighter on that side. And let's throw some black in there. And let's grab some paper. I'll say one thing good about edge. They're good for painting. When they send you all them ads instead of throwing them in a big garbage, throw them in a bag, and use them to paint with. It's always fun. And there's our planet. Yeah. Pretty cool planet. So let's let that dry for a second, and we'll be...
Okay, guys. Let's throw a shooting star in here real quick. Um, is that my weight or is that my weight? That's my weight. Okay, all I did was take a piece of paper. I folded it in half. I folded the corners down. So it gives me something to hold on to. Um, I seen these guys do it with the paper folded. And I'm like, well, why wouldn't you like um, hold the corners down and give you something to hold on to? So, yeah. I just edited their invention. And then I just take it, tilt it. Shoot in. A couple shooting stars. What that does is set your stars back farther by doing that um it puts up to your stars and your colors here as you see how much more that changes now that i got that there i can add that in um same there yeah we're gonna send the star back a little ways there we go Voila, see how far back it went. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Our galaxy is just a little close. Yeah, there we go, guys. I'd say she's about done. Before I mess it up and keep going too far. And I'm 
not wiping my thing. I'm going to mess it up. Okay, we're calling her done, guys. Well, there you go. Quick little simple stencil painting. A little depth in the galaxy. Um, I'll put the other pictures, some of the other ones I've been doing. And like I said, you guys get to see the intro to this. Um, yeah, we got lots of different new stuff coming. Like, I'm in the process of ordering me some stencils. Um, yeah, other stencils that you get. Um, I want some skull ones, some flame ones. Um, my son wants me to do a guitar for him, so I'm going to have that up on here for you guys. There's going to be a lot of stuff, guys. So, yeah, keep watching. This is just practice for what's to come. Um, this here is where I'm learning to do my depths and my colors and what goes with what and how to do this and how to do that and what looks good and what don't. So, all this little bit of learning will be sending us to the bigger projects. So, if you want to see them, stick around, subscribe, hit the like button, leave some comments, let me know if there's something you want me to paint. I'm not good with people and I'm not good with animals, but I'm going to get stencils to do that. As you see, my wolf one will be up in here. I did for the full moon the other night. Um, I made that stencil myself. So, yeah, that's the best I could do with that. Uh, I'm still trying to get one for my grandson going. So, I hope you guys are liking them. I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Get yourself an airbrush if you got the money. Um, the most expensive thing is a compressor. But I'm sure you can find a used one somewhere. And it does not have to be brand new. But as you see what you can do, it's fun. I mean, I never thought I could do this. So from Searching Souls, we say later. Peace.